Good evening, everyone. A brand new one-day special is about to be launched right here at Hochanda. What is a one-day special, I hear you ask? Well, a one-day special is a fantastic deal that lasts 24 hours. It's at a discounted price for 24 hours. Now, sometimes we sell out of the one-day special, but it is a while stock's last situation. So sometimes we'll get to the 24 hours and you'll still have a chance to get it in all of the shows, and sometimes we sell out early. I think we're going to have a very busy show. Abs and All and Creates, the team, the one wonderful team that it has of designers always come up with some fabulous stamps and great ranges for you to play with and using your mixed media and style and designs and this particular collection is from Tracy Evans absolutely fantastic love this I think you're going to see something in this particular collection that really does connect with you whether it be the flowers in there whether it be the images of being out into the garden or whether it be just the subtle backgrounds and the stamps that you've got to use with that. Let me just show you the stamps you're getting because sometimes on the artwork that you see on the front, uh, you might think that some of it is just part of the packaging. Well, it's not. It's all the stamps, as you can see right there. Beautiful designs, clear stamps as well, so it's very easy to place them on your design so you know exactly where they're going to go. That's one of the sets just there. Another set up here. Love that teapot. I think that is fabulous, really do. You've got your postage stamp just there, and then you've got your separate stamps just going around the edge that you can use with your project. So sensational deal there. And then, let me just bring this one up. Your beautiful, is that an iris? I think it is. Um, and then you've got your lovely background stamps in there. Yeah, there it is. It says an iris. There you go. Uh, a great deal, £43.97, saving £5. 22 stamps in total. 562252 is your item number for that. Now, we do have a great deal for you on your one-day special because you can divide the cost into two if you want to. With that £5 saving, it's £43.97, but divide the cost into two. And that means if you're paying in two payments, it's just £21.99 today and then another payment in a month's time. But do you know what? I'm going to say hold your horses. Even if you don't have any horses, just hold them or just pretend you're holding them by raising your hand in the air. Have you got them held? Great. We've got a complete collection for you. Now, this actually works out to be an incredible deal because as a Freedom member, with your extra discount Freedom members, it's only 43.17. I know. And you're getting the extra stamps included, great background stamps with those, lovely word search style background stamp. So Freedom members, you get a 14 pounds and 18 pence saving, 80 pence saving, which is less than the one day special. So it makes sense to go for the complete collection. Now, if you're not a Freedom member and you're thinking, well, I'd like a badge like Janice is wearing and I'd like to become a Freedom member, well, you can do right now for £6.97. That's for your first month and you can cancel after a month. But in order to become a Freedom member and get that discount right now, just put Triple Eight, Triple Eight in your basket, become a Freedom member, get the discount and then we're all happy. It's a great deal, it really is. With your Freedom membership, you get unlimited standard delivery on everything you buy. It doesn't matter how many times you buy from us a month, you could buy 10 times through different shows. You've always got your PMP included. You won't be paying any. Uh, exclusive members discounts, your members badge, and your monthly newsletter. Uh, 6 dollars a month. You can be a Freedom member in the United States of America, Europe, and in England as well. Now, the two extra stamps that are just here, these are great for building up your backgrounds. I've got um, a lovely sample here, but I do want to show you the stamps first. So let me just grab the stamps. Let me show you the stamps first of all. I'll drop those in to view. There you go. So great stamps for building and layering, which is fantastic. You see that? Doodle, paint, create. Love that. That is fantastic. And then let me show you a sample of what you can make and create, similar to the one that you've seen already. But isn't that marvellous? I bet you're thinking now about all the ways you can use this in your journals, in your um, planners, as well as your artwork. 
love that i think it's a great deal i really really do if you want to get hold of that complete collection we're getting busy i do need to warn you of that uh, and i kind of disappear into the screen so perhaps i should have thought about that when wearing my shirt uh, 573075 is your item number if you want to uh, go for your complete collection and it is designed by tracy evans we've got the lovely leone by the way with us today and we've got some great demonstrations and leone will be joining us in a few moments time uh, now we've got some happy hour deals for you yes we have uh, now happy hour deals are well it's what they are for this hour and this hour only this is going to be reduced to half price at 12 pounds and 49 pence so my word you are going to be happy now let me show you the stamp or stamps because it's not just one you've got several stamps here i just want to make sure i've got this the right way around for you yes there you go look at that um these are marvelous i'll drop that down yes beg your pardon so you've got your pair which actually when i first saw that when i first saw that i thought that was a dodo i did it could be a dodo if you want it to be it can uh, or a kiwi bird could be anything you like uh, you got your flip but it is a pair uh, but what i like about that you've got your sketchy detail in there so you can continue that or just leave it as it is and then you funk up your backgrounds if you want to you've also got your um sentiments in there as well uh, which are brilliant. This is getting very busy. I knew it would. 12.49, oh my word, 10 stamps in total. Uh, remember that, it's 10 stamps. They do come to you like that as an A4 stamp set, but think about it, 10 stamps, £12.49. pence. So that's what, £1.24 per stamp? That's incredible. 472.129, it's only for this hour and this hour only. Uh, we've got another happy hour. You've found this already on the website. We're also very, very busy for this one. And uh, if I grab that and I grab these and I'll show you the stamps. I, can, I could do one at a time. I'm going to do them both together because then I can hold them as a... Uh, there you go uh, now it's not a monthly mega deal it's a happy hour deal uh, we'll get that changed but you can see there we've got the beetles and the bugs insect um, oh that's interesting isn't it i wonder if that is what you mm, what you got it's like a mathematical equation uh, the en an engineering oh look length of pipe initial quantity velocity of course i understand all of that yeah, you know, the value of M for M minus C over in brackets equals, you know, that. Yeah. Um, one on one is two is about me. Uh, love that thistle with the background as well. Um, very busy. It's absolutely flying out. That's what I'm being told and that's what I'm telling you. £9.98, pence, saving £15. That is a great deal. Got a sample to show you. Can I show you a sample? Oh, look at that. That is beautiful, isn't it? That's by Joe Rice. And you see you've got that... Um, thistle there marvelous marvelous seven eight four nine double two very clever that one uh, one more happy hour for you oh i like this one i like this one i wonder why i like this one i like that camera and look at that feather that's amazing now is that all one stamp it is do you know what's nice about that you can stamp it as is, which is fantastic, but you could also mask off areas if you want to as well 1967 that was before I was born, of course. No, it was, seriously. Uh, 12 pounds and 49 pence, 991, 897. People are trying to work that out. It is, it's before I was born. It is. Uh, right, 991, 897 is your item number, 14 stamps. It's a great deal, it's a happy hour deal. Price will be going up at the top of the hour. Let's have a look at the website. You can buy the stamps individually, but most of you are going, well, you're going for the complete collection. It makes sense and become a freedom member. You might as well. You might as well spend £6.97 to become a freedom member to save that £14.80. So if you take your freedom membership off that, it's you're still saving eight, nine pounds, aren't you? It's a fantastic deal. Uh, sorry if my math is a little out there. Um, it is a great deal and you become a freedom member. It's a brilliant way to become a freedom member, but also to get those great stamps. Um, have a look at all the other stamps that we've got available for you. If you like the style of the team from All and Create, all of the different designers, we've got stencils, we've got stamps, uh, we've got all kinds of different uh, mediums as well that you can go and have a look at. Oh, we've got some dies as well. Yeah, I do like those. Uh, right, and look at that. Five star, five star, five star, five star reviews. Something else that's got a five star review is our Leone. Here she is. 
All right, Leone. All right, darling. I don't know about that. Oh, now I've got my cardio. I'm all right. I'm all right with my scarf. Oh, I thought it was more yeah. of a shawl. Yeah, it is. It's nice. We had these on. We had these on a chander. Did you? Yeah. I, oh, I like. Be I like you. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, you modelled that well, oh. kid. Hey. Um, I've got news for you before What's we start. The news? the news is we're approaching 20% of the collection already. Wow. Is that the, the is whole? Is that the big one? That's the whole complete collection. Mm. Knew okay. they would. Okay, let's get cracking then. Um, okay, what I decided to do, I wanted to work in my art journal because I haven't worked in my journal for quite some time. Um, this is my Pink Pig one. Love Pink Pig, massive fan. So I've already cut this out and coloured her in just to save a bit of time. Now, if you look closely in there, can you see your face? Bear with, bear with. Because there is in here a little fish. Can you see? There you go. Which I kind of liked. I kind of like that. Because I kind of thought that were quite unusual, quirky, a little bit different. So the way I did that, what I decided to... Now, I've always, ever since I was a kid, I am into cutting up magazines and kind of decoupaging them, stuff like that. So I thought, this is a really nice stamp to do that with. So I've got um, a magazine. I must have made Oh, it's already on my blog. I'm really organised. Um, it is a bit of a cool magazine. It's an old one. Thing is, with, with magazines, I don't get as scared cutting up a magazine as I do a book. You know, even, even a book that's, like, falling to pieces, I still have a little bit of... Oh, but a magazine, I'm, a, I'm better at cutting up magazines because I think they're a bit more throwaway, aren't they? I mean, I, I say that I've got millions of magazines that I will never throw away, but they're a bit easier to work with. So what I'm looking for is a face, but I'm looking for like a, a actual clothing is green. So I think that's absolutely perfect for this. So ink it up and then decide kind of which bit you want to see. So do you want to see the eyes? Do you want to see the mouth? You might just want to see the mouth there, which actually on this one, that's what we're going to go for because I really like that. I just think it looks a, a little bit different, a little bit quirky. And also, when you cut it out, I mean, I'm not going to cut this one out as well. It was just going showing you the, the idea. But I'll show you a little bit how different it looks because as soon as you start cutting this out, Oh, I might be careful with your face because I might be able to use that. But, look, and it's funny actually, like, with stuff like this, I know I'm cussing her. <laughs> what, what are you saying? I don't know what he's saying. And I don't know if I know what I want to know. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> am. <laughs> I am, I am at the end of the day on live TV cutting up a poor lady's face, which does look a little bit, yeah, it, it might look a little bit like I'm about to send some weird, like, <laughs> mail telling her, you know, oh, I don't know. But obviously, mixed media, we can do what we want. So, look, I'm not going to cut the whole thing out, but as soon as you cut it away from the image... Have a look at that. See, look how it completely changes it. And I love that because I think that's really subtle. And obviously, you've got the greens going on there as well. So it really changes the look of it. But I love how it how it brings something out of that background. Um, obviously, that's part of the bundle. If you do want that uh, particular stamp, it is in the big bundle. Right, bringing my page on. Um, and this has got a little bit of texture going on there. So I'm just going to open it up. Obviously, you can take them out the, the journals. I never do because I can't be bothered, really. Um, OK, a quarter of the stock has already gone. If you do want this, you are going to have to be quick with this one. Right, what I want to do is build up that background, first of all. So. I am going to take some of the background stamps. I adore these. I just think they're so seriously cool. So, another colour palette I'm working with. I want sort of blues and purples to mix and match with my flower. So, what I'm going to start doing is just um, popping the background on. I'm not going to cover this because I'm aiming for white space. So, I'm just going to add a little bit of detail. This I will probably end up covering up because obviously I'm going to work over the top of this anyway. I really like these stamps. I mean, they're just, just too cool, aren't they? So, popping that one and then my other background stamp. 
And with this one, I'll use the lighter lilac. I'm not using the um, a block because I'm layering, so it absolutely doesn't matter. I don't need it perfect. I'm, cu I'm creating a background. And I mean, you can obviously choose as usual, you know, you can choose different elements of the stamp. I do like it when the stamps are brand new and still nice and sticky, you know, cause then it just sticks to your fingers, which is lovely. Obviously after a little while, the, you know, they'll get all, they'll get all ink and gesso and everything on back. So just give them a clean and you can get your stickiness back. There we go. So I've got, now I do this a lot, the style, that, that kind of how it's running down my page and then just coming out a little bit. I, I like that kind of uh, composition. And play with composition. Have a composition in mind though. You know, don't, I'm not aiming to fill the page because then I can do that later. I can bring extra stuff in. But at the minute, I just want to start building up that composition. I'm then going to bring in some stencils. Now, I'm going to keep to the same colour palette. The stencils we have got on the show, the details are coming in for you. Um, obviously, it's all and great. So we have got loads of beautiful stencils for you to choose from. Um, this one is going to come in a set of four. So if you do want this, I mean, I just love it because obviously it's so easy to actually create that beautiful look straight away. I mean, that is ridiculously easy, isn't it? So just pop in a little bit of movement there. And again, it's just flowing through. Okay, I might pop in, do I want another one yet? I'm not gonna put another one yet because I'm going, gonna go on to the next stage and then I can work out if I need anything else here. So background, I've got that. Now, obviously, because this is going there uh, straight away, that, it looks good anyway. You know, I actually don't really need to add much else to it. You know, I, this is a lovely thing about having a main striking image and a cool background because straight away you've created something that looks cool, but we're not going to leave it there, obviously. Because this came out of a magazine, and I have checked, I haven't seen any swears. <laughs> um, because it's come out of a magazine, I am going to pick um, some of the, the rest of the magazine. What I love about this, it's one of them cool magazines. So it's it's got loads of like little cool bits in it. It's very cool magazine. I really wish I'd have read this rather than just cut it up. So what I want to do is take a little bit of this as my background. It's one of them that's printed on really nice paper as well. So it rips beautifully. I mean, you would have thought I only bought the magazine to rip up, wouldn't you? Kind of. <laughs> But but that's okay because I'm not ripping a book up, and, and you know what? Obviously, I'm not against ripping up. You know, books that are are falling to pieces and stuff. You know, I'm obviously not against that at all. It's just um, my my thing. Okay, so popping that like that. You do have to watch it, especially on TV. What words are in there? But I think we're okay. It's all on about Bethnal Green. It's a bit of history there. Okay, so I like that. It's funny because you'll faff with the shape of it. You'll faff with, you know, do I want that pointy bit? Don't like the pointy bit. It's ridiculous, really. It's just a bit of ripped paper, but you do end up having a bit of faff. So I like that. I like the paper in the background. I'm also going to bring in some card as well, just for layers, just for texture. Now, this is just your good old corrugated card. So I'm using my corrugated card that I've just ripped. Okay, and that's a lovely thing. You can literally just split it and that will give you texture. Absolutely love that. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of texture. There we go, like this. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, is Mr. Baker okay in the background there? <laughs> so, sounds like he's in an incredible amount of pain. If you're watching, Mrs. Baker is not, so don't worry. <laughs> he's, he, I don't really know what he's doing, but he's not in pain, so don't worry. <laughs> oh dear, I'm not gonna repeat that. Okay, so, so I'm loving that, because already we've got texture, texture. I've got this in the background. I need to bring that into the foreground, but also I wanna knock back stuff. So, my first layer, I'm gonna glue this down. So this, I'm going to, come on glue, don't fill me now. 
Good on you, kid. Come on, that's the one. So stick that down, first of all. OK, I do need to mention, as ever, when we have these shows, and it has been quite exciting um, of, uh, with all the great shows, the happy hour deals, but they're always really, 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 really busy. This one, yeah, I'm not surprised. You've got the well called Beatles. I really like them, you know. And she has done four Beatles as well. Brilliant. I wonder who she's decided is the bigger Beatle. Oh, controversial. Who's, who's the biggest Beatle for you? Oh, Lennon. And then <laughs> she went there. Give peace a chance. And then and then you've got the beautiful thistle as well. Um, now, if you do want to get hold of these, half of the stock has gone. Email them who is going to be your biggest beetle. We're not going to argue. Everybody's... Every, no, not the who. Different band. Different band. Uh, uh, but, yeah, please please email in. No, I mean, uh, please check your baskets out. Please email in. It's all about the Beatles. Um, check your baskets out with them. Half of the stock has gone. I'm not surprised. Look at that price. 9.98. Oh, mate. Um, saving 50... That's an absolute bargain. Saving 15 quid. Um, that's 784922. Okay. So, yeah, that's already um, that stuck down. So, let's get another stencil in. So, getting another stencil because now I want to build again. So, this time I'm going to build with. Um, I'm going to use my white gesso, actually. I wasn't going to use white gesso. I'm going to use texture paste. But because I don't know where I'll put my texture paste and I forgot to dig it out, we're going on to. Uh, we're going on to the gesso. Um, okay, so with good old gesso, I mean, there's so many things you can do with good old gesso. And the lovely thing is with it, although you're knocking it back, you're knocking the book page back, you're knocking the purple back, um, you're also still seeing through it. So it's not completely covering the page. It's not completely covering the purple. It's just giving you like um, a softer finish to it, which I absolutely, oh, I'll get rid of that word, which I absolutely love. There we go. So just a little bit, Let's see. Love that. I, I just adore the layering because it changes the look of it. I want to do it down here now as well just because I really like the effect. And it doesn't make it look as solid. You know, sometimes when you do your stencil with the, the one colour, oh, this gesso's nearly done. Um, it can look a bit too solid and just plonk there. Whereas this now, your layers, it just makes it look visually really interesting. Now, if you do want this stencil, I love this stencil. Um, it does come, I think this is in a set of four as well. Um, oh yeah, there's so many good stencils. And I love it because even if you've missed out in the past, um, maybe now, maybe today's the time you can go for it. The details are there for you and the other stencils. Oh, that's a strong set. The one top right, that's what been one of my favourite favourites ever. I just love that set. Now you've got yours, four stencils, all the size that I'm working with currently, saving five pounds there. Uh, 365, 394 is your item number. Yeah, I don't know how we've got a chance of going through the middle of that. But anyway, there you go. There you go. Um, okay, so next. So just faff, faff, faff. Yeah, love that. I really like that. So bringing now my, my card in. And I just want, now again, get your gesso. So your gesso, I've got gesso on my brush so we can bring that over the top. It doesn't look plain then, it looks more interesting. So bring in this, like this. And again, like this, like that. There we are. So we're going that. We're going that like this. And then this one is like this. There we go. There. So we've got that, 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 which I really like. So let's get gluing again. Now, the lovely thing about this is obviously um, you can play with these layers. You know, you've got so many options because it's up to you, because it's my fabulous art journal. So pop that there like so. We'll pop this one like this. 
like this. And don't panic if you cover stuff up. I think when I'm when I first started doing this, you know, and doing all your layers, the covering stuff up, it used to be like, why am I doing that? You know, I've just created something and I really like it. Now I'm just gonna stick some over the top of it. But actually, actually now I'm really into it because I love seeing all those different layers. I'm just going to, see, just pop a little bit of texture on there. So just squidging that so you can get that lovely sort of movement. And that's the nice thing with working with your corrugated cord. I love working with corrugated cord because it does, um, it does allow you to, to really play with the, um, with the textures bring in a bit of purple in. Because the purple's in the background, we want it in the foreground. I'm literally only doing it direct from the ink pad because that just, I mean, the effect is beautiful. It's really nice and sharp then, straight from the ink pad. And because I've done it straight from the ink pad, let's have a little bit going on the page as well, which I really like, really like that. Okay, now then, let's have a little look, see. So we're gonna have then, there already looks well cool positioning i like it i kind of like it there actually I'm, I'm a bit of a mine always tend to go to one side never center okay loving that so all i want to do before i glue that down now it's bringing some i when i do mine i always bring black into mine because i love it and that is exactly what i'm doing here so i'm gonna bring in the iris stamp so on the iris you've got the iris a little old stamp so i'm just bringing the black in here now it is very very busy please check your baskets out um our wonderful tracy um i love tracy she's such a lovely person she brings some incredible designs she brings some incredible um inspiration as well so please check tracy out see what she's been doing with this brand new collection there are of course more of tracy's stamps on the the show so again please check those out but it's so nice to be launching tracy's stamps so thank you ever so much it is do you know it is lovely because when all and create had their anniversary then i was part of that as well and it is so nice you know because it's like oh, i must be part of all and create family and it's it's well cool because like they are seriously cool aren't they so it's like oh i like that that's that's it is. um and yeah they've got designers like tracy She's fan fantastic. So um, thank you very much, Tracy. And they are amazing. Um, and do email in, folks. You know, stuff that you've maybe done with Tracy's designs, because I know she watches. And I know our wonderful Abs is watching. Hi, Abs, love. So I, uh, so, oh, I've put that back. So please email in, finish sample, stuff you've made with All and Create. Oh, why do you love All and Create? You know, we'd love to hear from you. Okay. Oh, yeah, we... Oh, as, as things broke, yeah, technical issues. But keep on coming in and we will show when we can. Now, what I've done there, I've stamped in purple first, gone over, but offset it in black. I love doing that because then it creates a drop shadow. Really, really like that. Now, I've nearly finished, but all I want to do now is bring some blue in. Because I've got blue in the actual iris, I've decided, <laughs> yeah, you, can you see the hackney somewhere? <laughs> yeah that's the thing we're using books yeah sometimes our magazines you sometimes get cheeky little words in there don't you i mean it is like in the in the life of tv tv crafting um there has been many a show that has had much worse than that on. <laughs> it's when like um I can't I think it was, you know, in my in my previous life. And I think it was a show I wasn't I wasn't presenter. One of my mates think it were um anyway, it's irrelevantly on it. But anyway, I think it was quite um, a rude book. A racy, a racy book, which I just think's fabulous. Imagine going on TV and working with a racy book. <laughs> just makes me giggle does that but i don't know if if the the guests know but anyway there you go so a little bit of blue that's all <laughs> that works doesn't it with your racy book cheeky bit of blue and then <laughs> oh, oh gray oh yeah cheeky bit of all shades of gray um so 
<laughs> there we are. So we've just got a tiny bit of blue coming in, which I really like as well. Now, let's have a see. Am I happy with that? I'm happy-ish, but it's all and create. So we need some splatters. Because what would an all and create show be without wonderful splatters? So I'm going to go in with another blue because that's lovely as well. I love hearing Mr. B whispering. <laughs> It is so funny. Okay, so pop in a little bit of paint there and then <laughs> just watering that down. Good grief. Okay, folks, now already, is that of the big bundle? Okay, you know that amazing big bundle with the background stamps? 30% of the stock has gone. This has literally only just launched. We're 30 minutes into the show and already flying out the door. This is what you're going to get. So you're going to get that beautiful... Oh, look at that, including those stamps. <laughs> Boom. Um, if you do want to go for those, please check your baskets out. It is flying. Do not miss out on this. Brand new. It is the wonderful Tracy Evans. OK, so just a few little splatters like that oh she got carried away with her splodges but i kind of like that do you know sometimes it's quite nice to be really loose with your paintbrush and just see what happens there we go so just go around the edges so edging your brush edging your page because um if you hold your paintbrush right at the end of your paintbrush and just sort of go around the edge you don't have as much control and that can be quite cool or do it with your wrong writing hand have you ever tried that one? You know, the you know, your wrong writing hand, yeah. Your non writing hand. That's a probably better way of describing it, isn't it? Your non writing hand. Well, sometimes you can be a little bit cheeky, a bit ambidextrous. Okay. Oh, I'm well happy with this one. Okay, stop, Leone. Now I'm getting really carried away. Okay, if you do want to get a hold of this one, you need to check your baskets out. Boom. Where have I, where's I put my glue? Where's I put my glue? Where have I put my glue? So just popping this on. Remember, this is your um, a magazine. So because it is a magazine, it's a lighter paper. Because of that, I am making sure that I do put the glue on all the little elements there. Whoops. And then gluing it to my finger. And then just popping that down like so. Hold it so it actually starts to take... Might take a little while because it's going into the corrugated card. So not all of it is going to touch. But there we go. I like that. Yeah, I could put wait. But you know what? I'm going to hold. I'm not going to glue those bits, actually, because that will give it that beautiful movement, won't it? There. That's all wonderful. Irish. Yeah, I'm happy with that one. Lovely. Um, now, if you'd love to get hold of the iris, that is just one of the stamps. Those background stamps are amazing. Um, obviously, I've used stencils that you'll also get on the show. I have used a beautiful iris as well. Um, and of course, with something like this, there's so many options, so many things that you can do. Um, right, if you want anything, check that website out. It is hechanda.com or ring us 01736 Um OK, Miss Janice. Are we, am I just throwing to Janice? Oh, yeah. Janice, are you? Oh, I caught whatever it was you throwing at me. Throw it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very smooth. Um, thanks, Leone. Um, this is such a fantastic deal. We are really, really busy. We're very, very busy. So if you have just joined us, welcome to the one day special show. This is the launch show. And we're already over 30% of the stock gone for the complete collection. That's your one day special and the two background stamps as well. And it's a superb deal if you're a Freedom member because you're saving 14 pounds and 80 pence. You can become a Freedom member today if you wish. And you can make that saving right here, right now. Isn't this lovely? So that's using this in a different way. This is by Joe Rice. Uh, I've got another sample here to show you actually. And this is using pyography. So I'm not sure of the tool that was used uh, to place that in, but isn't that good? I really, really like that. Um, you could just have that hanging up in the wall in your kitchen if you want to, or it could be a practical thing. You could serve a little bit of cheese on there or some nibbles at a party. Um, and then at a party. 
it's a it's a posh party it's a party it's a party you know um this is lovely isn't it and what a lovely example of a little press you can see there uh and then the iris is in there because normally you would put a real flower in a press like this wouldn't you so that's really nice yeah and you press flowers and then they get flat so you can use them in your journals but that's a lovely way of using it there's your teapot nice and stout here's the handle and here's the spout there you go i did it the wrong way round. Here's the handle, there's the spout. There's, there's no rules though. Uh, same stamp, different colourway. Do you see how different that can look when you're using uh, all of the different stamps that you're getting in that particular collection? Uh, you could make it into a watering can if you want to which would be rather nice, rather nice. Um, some wall art, maybe. This is nice. This has been put onto wood, which you can see there, which is really nice. This one also by Joe Rice. Isn't that fantastic? Right, let's talk about what you're getting in the complete collection. Let me show you the stamps, because you can see the artwork on the front. And true to style, you have exactly what you see. So there you go. So there's that teapot. You've also got the flower that goes in there, the postal stamp. You've got the knife, the fork, and the spoon. You've also got the words in there as well. So that's one of the sets just there. I'll just pop this down and load my next one onto it. So I want to show them all on brown. It looks nice. There you go. That's your next set. So even more stamps here. That could be the focal point of your project if you want it to be. You can also use the masking technique. So you can just take off elements. You could be grungy. You can use the clean lines. You can have it vintage. You can make it look sketchy. And then there is the iris, the one that Leone was using. With those lovely background stamps as well. Now talking of background stamps, that's your one day special but the complete collection details on your screen at the moment do include those two background stamps I'll just pick those up and show you uh, they've got like a word search style to them and then you've got your numbers as well let me get that the right way round there you go is that the right way round Janice that's the right way round don't get your numbers upside down that will never do uh, now if you want to become a freedom member and take advantage of that 14 pounds and 80 pence saving then just do triple eight triple eight your basket become a freedom member for six pounds and 97 today if you're in the uk uh, different prices and currency if you're in europe and the usa but it does work out the same and you are getting a superb deal so you'll become a freedom member for a whole month all your pmp will be included and you'll still be getting a great discount on that complete collection and that's what so many of you are going for so it's a great deal it really is um and to your basket how much of the stock has gone over 30 percent now over 30 percent of the stock that's of the complete collection 573075 is your item number now something else that we're very busy for is your happy hour deals uh, your happy hour deals it's only this hour that this is going to be available at this price and you've got 23 minutes left to get hold of this one for 12 pounds and 49 pence this really is an absolute corker of a deal let me show you the stamps that you're getting just there 10 stamps in total wow amazing deal for uh, 472129 your item number if you want to go for that that's amazing that's a half price deal uh, pop that into your basket by the way if you're going for this alongside your complete bundle it could be in the flexi yes because you can buy your complete collection on a flexi and the one day special on a flexi so you'd only be paying half of that today and then another half in a month's time. That's a great deal. Delivered directly to your door as well. Right, we've got another happy hour deal for you. We're very, very busy for this one. Uh, proving to be tremendously busy. Uh, with the Beatles, which one's your favourite? And there you go, you've got the thistle as well. Which is your favourite, Janice? Which is my favourite. Yeah. kind of like Ringo Aww. because I I always feel sorry Aww. for the drummers because they're Aww. all yeah Ringo was kind of I know he plays the drums and he's in the background but you know John and Paul yeah. and George and then there was Ringo and his name his name always comes last doesn't it yeah John Paul, John Paul. Ringo. I think <laughs> he's done all right for John, himself though. well yeah he is. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's tanking his way through life he's as in Thomas. Right. Uh, no, just to clarify, <laughs> £9.98 <laughs> saving £15 on that deal. 784922 is your item number for the happy hour deal. Uh, superb. Now, the next stamp set, the next happy hour deal, I absolutely adore. Love this. Uh, also, I've been very busy for this. Let me just drop that in because look at the size of these stamps. 
An amazing deal, £12.49. It's a half price deal. 991897 is your item number for that. Perfect. Happy hour deals mean you only have now 21 minutes left to check out your baskets. Now, I'm going to throw back. It's a terminology we use on television. Mm. I'm going to throw over now, not throw up. I'm going to throw <laughs> over now to our Leone. I'm Leone. So pleased you're not going to do the, oh. the rowy up in. Oh, so. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm now on. going to throw to Leone. Missed it. I missed it. I missed oh, it, Janice. Oh, no, and it was an egg as well. It's gone through the window, Janice. <laughs> through the arch window. You've broken the arch window, Janice. <laughs> oh, jolly hockey sticks. Um, <laughs> thank you for throwing. <laughs> OK, OK, I'm colouring in a kettle, but bear with. I'm not going to just show you colouring in a kettle. I have... I have cut out my kettle and started throwing it in. OK, so throwing it in. Oh, I know I'm colouring it, not throwing it. Goodness gracious me. It's one of those hours, isn't it? It's one of those where I don't know what I'm saying. I don't like those hours when I don't know like what I'm saying because it scares me. I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth. I don't like those. Oh, it really scares me. Yeah, I'm the one who has to do public apologies. OK, so... What I'm doing with this, right, I've stamped this. I've stamped this on um, card. Now, I have a, a, a loads of scrap card, of course, as do we all. So I'm never 100% sure what I'm actually stamping on. Um, this is super smooth, which means you can see the way my, my pens are just seeping into the card. But that's absolutely fine, because I kind of like this being... Um, can you see how it's quite patchy? But I quite like that. I kind of like that texture that it's giving. Sometimes you don't want it to be really blended and smooth. And I think sometimes that, that kind of effect looks really quite cool. Obviously, different cardstock gives you different results. So just going on, and I have nearly finished this one, to just layer, layer. So I'm using my two different colours, and that will allow me to get a little bit of depth in there as well. Now, if you do want your big bundle with those wonderful, wonderful little background stamps, which is seriously cool, almost a third has gone. I mean, it is very busy. This is brand new. This is from the wonderful Tracy Evans. Um, obviously, it matches. When you look at this flower on there, we all know Tracy's done flowers that match this. And that's a lovely thing, isn't it? You know, you know you'll get this collection and this collection will go with other stamps that Tracy's done. And I, I really like that because you're just building. You're building on the artwork. You're building on all the, um, the different things that you can achieve. So we've got that coloured in, which I really like. If you want um, a little bit more shading, so say you want, like, when, um, where the, the, the pots... Hold on a minute, where the lid meets the kettle. So I'm bringing a darker colour in, but then just bring that in. See? And I like that because a tiny bit of extra colour, see, just a little bit of, of the, the darker blue around the outside, it just gives you depth, and that's all you need. Let's colour in the, um, the handle as well. So I have the handle like that. It's almost, it needs to be copper, really, doesn't it? It reminds me of a, the old-fashioned copper kettle that you used to have. Um, I'm going to do the handle, however. That's going to be um, a really nice light blue. So just trundle around there. And it doesn't need to be perfect, because it's all that really nice, sketchy detail, which is gorgeous. Please don't forget to check your baskets out. I'm not, I don't really like saying that, but if you do forget, then obviously... Um, if, it, if anything sells out, especially the happy hour deals, if it does sell out, then you miss out effectively because it goes back into stock. OK, so pop in a little bit of grey as well on there, like so. So we've got that beautiful stamp. Obviously, I cut it out. I stamped it and cut it out because I didn't want to be standing here cutting that out. But just so you can see the detail. Now, I'm gonna, go, going to colour the petal, the flowering in a little while, but I'm leaving that now because all in on all... all oh, teeth in. In all honesty, I don't know where it's going yet, so I'm not filling anything else in yet. So, that I know is my, my main image. Let's do a background. 
all your backgrounds. I like starting on a bigger piece of paper because I think it's interesting. Um, and I'm going to take those fabulous background stamps again. Of course I am because these are magnificent. You know, there's so much you can do with these. This time, let's work on an actual acrylic block. I'm going to make this one. I'm aiming for a little bit more pretty with this one. So let, let's go so it's, it's got a little bit of a prettiness to it. So I work with my, my blue. I actually want pink, so I'm gonna have to turn me back on you, but I won't be, I won't be long. I won't be long and I won't go far. Um, <laughs> there we go. I uh, think I, um, our Molly loves it when I have to turn me back because she puts hold music on for me. <laughs> She's like, I've got whole music. I can do the whole music. Uh, it's a fabulous game. So I've got the blue and I've got the pink. So just starting to create a lovely little old background. Obviously with that, I shouldn't, you know, you should really clean it, blah, 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 blah. And I'm not, um, I'm keeping that one stamp because I'm making that really nice, big, full background. And I love... I love that it's kind of going purple. Now, our Jane's emailed in, hiya, Jane. And she said, what pens am I using? The pens I'm using, got a bit of a mixture. I've got, of course, I've got our Phil Martins. Where's three, is that in it? Yeah, I, I kind of was looking at that. It's a really weird camera though, that one. It, anyway, I'm sorry, everybody at home. It's really weird. It's, it doesn't, um, I'm using our wonderful Phil Martins, of course, but I've also got some Pentel as well. So everything that I've had on my shows, yes. Um, and yeah, I, Phil's do live here. They live with, you know, they live in my studio, my studio. I know it's not gonna be my studio. I have to move out of my studio. I have to move out by end of August. I know, right? All of this. Oh, I know, I know. I'm not whinging, even though I'm saying it on air. <laughs> yeah, tricky bit whingy. No, I knew it was going to happen eventually. It's, you know, it's been, it's been great. But oh, it all, all the good things have to end, and all that malarkey. I mean, I'm still going to be here. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. I still have got a craft room, <laughs> so I can't, uh, you know, can't whinge. The, yeah, this mess does exist somewhere else in the building that I'm hurriedly trying to tidy up because I have to move all of this into that little room. Don't know how that's going to happen. Still got ink on there. Because I still got ink on there, I've spritzed on there because, of course, I can clean my stamp. I'm going to clean my stamp on paper. So you need to make sure you're not wasting it because that's, you know, that's some really nice printing on there. Um, obviously, that's going to be a different project. This is the side I'm working on currently. So really like that because i'm only working on that side i am now going to cut it because i've decided where i'm going it's always the way with this you know when i'm doing backgrounds i always like the bit that i've cleaned my stamp with more like when i look at that i really really like that and i think the kettle just looks really really pretty on that background always the way always the way but but it's okay because i know that i'm not going to keep this really like striking at the minute it's quite striking and it's a bit clean at the minute that is not gonna not gonna be the case in a few moments time so and I don't even know if I'm gonna stick to that size yet I'm cutting it down to that size so I can see sort of where I'm going a bit clearer but I might yet sort of mix it up I'll see where it goes but I do like that on that background I think that looks really pretty okay so as promised we're not going to keep it that clean so because it's distress and distress oxide that I've worked with obviously it mixes with your water so if I start spritzing now I'm using watercolor cardstock so you can see oh, now it can't be completely watercolor cardstock because I haven't got as much movement as I expected there so this is another thing with good old cardstock. Sometimes you'll get a lot of movement, depending what it is. Oops. Other times you won't. So that one isn't a completely watercolour cardstock. A watercolour cardstock, the distress oxide absolutely move. You know, but I kind of like that because it looks really soft. So if I just bring in my um, heat gun and just blast that dry, because what will happen, and I quite like the the you know forcing the ink to dry as well sometimes 
and especially with this one because this is quite um, because the ink pad because the ink is um, hold on sorry because the the, um, the ink hasn't moved a lot I know that if I force that to dry it'll be stronger where if I try to drag up the ink then that's going to be way too wishy-washy there we are so just forcing most of it dry. I'll obviously get bored, which means I'll lift some of that ink off. Not too bad, I haven't got too bored. There, I have now. So just, just lift off some of the ink when you get bored of heat setting. Okay, like that, I think that's nice. So it's softer, it's a lot softer. Um, bring on the kettle again, see where you're going. There we are. And then, oh look, it's pretty. See, oh, no way, we've only got five minutes. Good grief. Okay, I better shape myself. I'm glad I said shape myself. Oh, oh, shap yourself, girl. So, is that a northern thing? Shape yourself. I don't know, but I'm glad I said shape. Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> as soon as I said it, you were like, oh, I said the right word. I said the right word. Now, this is a lovely, lovely, lovely stamp. What I like about this is the fact that you can use it as it's suggested, like for the, the flowers and everything. But I think this works just as well if you're just really aiming to use it for the scribbly circles. I love good scribbly circles, of course, because I've done scribbly circles. I just, I just think they're fab. Can't have too many circles in life and scribbly circles. Amazing. So, stamp that like that, popped it in blue, so I think that'll look lovely. Just taking a water brush, that's the thin one, don't want the thin one. All right, take the water brush, see if it'll bleed out a tiny bit. See, not proper watercolour this one, but, and please do not forget to check those baskets out. Over a third of the stock of that complete collection has already gone. I mean, it is flying. See, and then when I put that over there, look at that. How cool does that look? Now, if you only, so say you only want the, 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 the circle. If that's your main focal image, you take your gesso again. You, you do. <laughs> Don't go, Janice. <laughs> no, poor Janice. Um, okay, so I'm going to gesso a bit of the background out. Now, of course, as ever, it's not going to completely get rid of it, which is exactly what we want, but it allows the focal point to be the lovely kettle. Now, remember, you've got three minutes left on the show. Three minutes, check your basket out if you do want that happy hour deal for this one. Oh, seven minutes, because you've got a little bit after the show, but, but not much time. So if you do want to get that happy hour deal, please check your baskets out. It is such a deal. Look at that. When it's gessoed, how cool does that look? Because it goes all sort of misty and beautiful. I love that. Work with your gesso over the top of your backgrounds and it just makes everything just quite fabulous. Okay, popping that. Your background now, your, your beautiful flowers have gone into the background, which means I've just got a circle for that lovely, lovely stamp. Now, how much time have I got? Two minutes. So, blast that dry. I would cut this down. I might put it in one of my journals, actually, and then... Um, and then it's got a frame <clears throat> like this. And then let's just bring in some of my lovely stamps that go with it. So I really like that there's a little, um, the postal thing. I think that's quite fabulous. There we go. So, moving this here. So we've got our little post-it mark, Chester which I think is really cool. And then we're gonna have, we're gonna have, have we got a new, what have we got? Oh, we got a new one day special. Oh, well, I didn't. I didn't even know we had a logo. Oh yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> 
So, see, so you've got little vintage. So I'm popping that there, like this. There. So we've got our little vintage there. And can you see what I'm doing? I'm creating a frame. Oh, I'm not going to create a frame because I haven't got time. But you've got vintage there. And then I'll pop that there like that. And then one more. <laughs> and then just one more. Poor Johnny's. And then one more, one more, one more. And then do the fig two like this. <laughs> so we've got, we've created a frame there. That will go in the frame there. I'm going to put a little bit of shading in. I'm then going to colour the little flower in so it's really bright and fabulous. Then it's going to be on black. Um, thank you ever so much. I promise I'll put photos of this uh, when I've finished it on social media. Please join us at eight, at eight o'clock. Uh, Janice. Janice also says, thank you very much. Uh, see you again at eight o'clock. Check your baskets out. Goodbye. <laughs>